curriculum and we're going to um, build an outcome assessment for the PLOs, Program Learning Outcomes. So once you're logged into CurriculumNet, on the left side you'll see a menu with a lot of options. So we'll go to Build and you'll see Outcome Assessment. So we'll click Outcomes Assessment and this is where we can create an assessment. So if you have any that you're currently working on, you'll see them below and they might have a pencil. The pencil means you can edit. Um, if there's no pencil, that means they are already completed and they cannot be edited. Um, but if we want to make a new one, a new PLO assessment, on the left side we'll see Start New Assessment. Um, we're in this new menu that we're going to go through and fill everything out. So the title will autofill, so we'll ignore the title. Outcome type is PLO. Outcomes effective date would be the semester of your assessment. So select the semester that you assess the program learning outcomes. Proposal type will always be new outcome assessment. We'll go ahead and select your discipline and program. When you select the program, make sure you choose one that says active. So choose the active version of the program you are assessing. And then you can assess all the outcomes in a single assessment. So you can um, command click or control click to select them all. So you don't have to assess them separately and we'll click OK at the bottom. From here, we'll see a checklist in the top right. So to complete the assessment, we need to complete the checklist. If your class is exempt, you can choose exempt from assessment and choose a reason. So the most common reason would be a new um, program that students haven't been a part of yet. And then make sure you select a date when you do plan to assess. So let's do an actual uh, PLO assessment. So we'll go to the next one on the checklist, which is prior assessment reflections. Um, all of the questions are just reflections, so we don't need to score students for PLOs. So the first question is just asking us what changes did you implement? So give some examples of changes you've implemented. Um, the second question is then what impact did those changes have on your program outcomes. So give some examples of how they affected your PLOs. We'll click Save. And then once you're done, you'll click Finish. And you'll see this is now checked off. Um, if number two was hard to answer, you can go back to Main um, to get a reminder of what your PLOs were. And then click back on Prior Assessment and you can edit that response. If you click finish too soon, you can always check unlock, um, type a little more, and then click finish again. So we feel good about this one, so we'll go to the next in the checklist, which is PLO Reflections. Again, we'll just reflect on these questions. So give some examples of strengths, um, and then some examples of weaknesses, and then some questions that maybe came up. And again, we'll hit save and finish. And again, if you want to make changes, you can click unlock. Just make sure you hit finish again. All right, and the last thing on the checklist is future plans. So what future plans do you have? So we'll go through the checklist, maybe some recommendations or changes you would like to make, give some examples, and then any resources you may need to implement these changes. And we'll click Save, and we'll click Finish, and my checklist is done. So on the left side, you'll now see that you could submit now. If you're not ready to submit, you can leave, um, but you need to make sure you remember to come back. Um, if you didn't submit, next time you come into CurriculumNet, you'll just go back to the Build Outcomes Assessment, and you'll see it's there, um, that first one I have. It's not submitted. Notice it still has a pencil and scissors. Um, the scissors will completely delete it. The pencil will allow me to edit it some more. Um, once you feel confident with it, make sure you click Submit. And then anything that's submitted will show up under Outcomes Assessment, but without the pencil. So all of these below are ones that I have submitted. So that's how you could check if you have submitted it or not. If it's still on your list with a pencil, that means you did not click Submit. So make sure you go back in and submit that.